Hey guys, John here. Welcome back to the series, How to Use Pigments. This is video 28, and today we're talking about the chorus modules, so both of them. In the FX tab, we can find them here on the drop-down menu, the third row, and is the first one for the first chorus here. So for this demonstration, I'm using a saw wave, and it would sound like this, just a dry saw wave. Now with chorus enabled, Now it sounds a little bit like unison, but it's actually very different. So what's happening with chorus is it's creating multiple copies of the signal and subtly changing the timing and the pitch using an LFO. And that's what this first knob is here on the bottom left here, this rate. So this is gonna be the rate of the LFO. So let's take a listen to see how different this, uh, this knob changes the sound. So here at the bottom at point one, it's actually very slow. So it might be a little bit hard to notice the change. But we can see it here in our oscilloscope, see that moving. As we increase this, it starts to get very fast. Now moving on over here, we have the delay of the chorus effect. And as we move it more so to the right, it sounds to our ears as, as it's getting a little bit more and more detuned. And it's actually very nice to see how this graph moves with the uh, motion of this knob here. We can go from uh, 0.6 milliseconds to 20 milliseconds, which is a typical range for a course, although I have seen some that go up to 35. Next up, we have the depth, so take a listen to this here. Now that gets pretty crazy pretty quick. We can go from zero milliseconds all the way to 10. And now we have the feedback of the delay. So with this knob here, you can get some pretty crazy effects going on over here. So yeah, I thought I'd mention that as well. Let's go back to a default one and talk about the other knobs over here. So we have voices here. So this sets how many times the signal is duplicated by the chorus. So if we just want one of them, we can go all the way to the left for one. Or we can go up to a total of three. It's a little bit of a thicker sound, although you can run a chorus into another chorus into another chorus, which is why Pigments is so freaking cool. So moving on from there, let's go to a default again, because I wanted to show you this uh, this square over here and kind of show you a little bit of demonstration with a sine wave as it's a little bit easier to hear. So let's take this off stereo for now. Let's take a listen to what it sounds like first. Let's turn it up just a little bit here. So let's take this off stereo to just have a mono signal here and kind of focus in on this here. So kind of just notice the pulsing and just how that shape is listening to, or how we're listening to that shape there. Now let's hit square. Now, if you haven't figured it out yet, this is basically changing the shape of the LFO that's making this modulation from either a sine wave or to a square wave. Now, moving on, let's go over to the Juno Chorus 6. Let's go back to a saw wave here and take a listen to how this sounds. Now, it's basically kind of the same controls we talked about earlier, but this models the actual analog chorus from the Juno 6, which is pretty cool. And we have our rate here, we can go into Hertz, Sync, Sync Triplets, or Sync Dotted. And keep in mind, there's people that actually buy this synth just for this chorus module. Now we have our depth. And then our phase. Now, what's interesting in the manual that I said is if we put a chorus Juno 6 here for this FXA and then for our FXB, let's put another one of these and then change the phase on one of them, we should get a fat type of sound. Now, 
Let's try a little bit of that with Unison and see what that sounds like here. Let's put our voices up here and put another sound wave here and get advantage of this drift over here and see what that sounds like. That actually is actually pretty cool. Wow, that's pretty buttery right there. I always kind of went for the regular course module over this Juno 6 one, and I might actually change my opinion on there. So this is kind of what I'm talking about. Pigments becomes more and more cool as more you, as you experiment with different kind of things and check out the hints that they give you in the manual because they're awesome people who write things like that. So thank you for whoever, whoever put that in the manual. If you're watching this, thank you for that. That's a, actually a very uh, cool thing that uh, I'm probably going to use in future patches. So that's basically the course in a nutshell, and thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.